Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo, baby Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Fallon Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of the babies for Baby Flo. <laughs> well, you need a good job, Miss Fallon. Good job. Full watch has escalated. Welcome to the channel. Behind me is a very special delivery. Of course, I wasn't here for it. Stop! <laughs> we missed it, dang it! God! We have a baby. Son of a gun, she didn't even wax up last night. We didn't even stop by many because I was like, yeah. people are going to get tired of me. I was going to wear my um, UPS it's outfit. Fresh, fresh. Hey. It's fresh, fresh. It's still got long Can you see? Can you take video for us? Yeah, oh yeah. my God, so cute. Look at its back legs, they're all the way white. Oh, oh my God. Dang, I should have looked where I left. I can't believe I missed it. That is the cutest damn thing ever. Would you please get us video? Thank you. Do I have a what? A sorrel there, buddy? Yes. There's one way back there. Yeah. Does she have a yellow collar on? Okay. Dad gum it. Okay. Thank you so much, fresh. Whitney. Um, you're welcome. I can't, I don't think that, I mean, it's panicking. So, is it, no, no, there with the yellow collars right there. Okay. There's one more Bojangles with the 269 on her shoulder. You won't be able to see it from there. But that mare also should be about to fold. Thank you so much. That mare was not waxed over you last night. They wait until you just don't aren't out there. That's the thing. If you know on TikTok, I wear my UPS delivery man outfit for delivery day. I'm not anywhere close to wearing my UPS man outfit. Well, this we wanted thing is her to gorgeous. have it before yeah. Wednesday. We wanted her to have it, but we have another one that's super due. And that one, let me see how many days we are on this paint mare. Ten miles, turn right onto FM on Mona Lisa. She is at. We had a baby. Yeah. No. Her. Was that two? Well, we've learned our lesson. We check every night, no matter what. Yes. Okay, this baby was due in four days, so she had it like 316 days. No wait. It would be like 3.30 something. Wow. Because I have safe dates down, <laughs> written down differently. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, see you in a few. Well, yeah, we'll see you in a few. We'll let you know. We have names picked out for a lot of them that like are earmarked. So we got to see boy or girl. And the markings on this baby look very flashy. Which is, is this one? Which is wild. It's a, it's a JL smoke show. Oh. Now, Smoke Show had some chrome. Yeah. So, um, and JL doesn't really have just a ton of chrome. Um, but our babies by JL are throwing lots of chrome. And every baby has been like my dream baby that's hit the ground. So, I'm very proud. Let me just explain to you what you're about to see. We have got a new baby on the ground, Mona Lisa, who I thought was going to have her baby. And then she was dripping milk. And then she wasn't waxy at all, had her baby at 5 a.m. this morning. Of course, we weren't here. You, you guys know we foal everything out in the pasture. And we like to have a very hands-off experience. And a lot of people will say, but what if, what if, what if, what if? I had my own baby at home, Breach, with a midwife and a doula present, of course. And 
I can just tell you that a lot of those things are more of a unique circumstance than something that happens every time. So we try to be as hands off as possible. We will not intervene in, in these baby mama relationship um, until they are ready to wean. We're gonna do it really, really naturally and that's how we try to do it. Now, of course, there's always exceptions to those rules and always times that um, we're gonna have to step in and do a little something, but these babies, I love showing babies how they're born out in nature um, because mamas are so powerful, whether they be human or horse, and I want to re-empower the people watching this that they don't really need us. <laughs> it is such a gift to be a part of these horses' journey, and it's such an amazing gift to be able to ride them and um, you know gain personal success later because of the talents that they lend us and it's such a gift it is a privilege not a right and so i want to be sure that i give them the space that they need so without further ado please meet our newest stallion he has no name yet but this is a smoke show jl dash to heaven and our chromiest baby ever born at the ranch and if you're new here chrome and horse world means white and it is very desirable think of a car with big rims on it and all the all the accoutrement that goes with it this is a flashy flashy baby now of course he is brand new this colt is only about four or five hours old so you'll see him look a little wobbly still um, you're gonna see his legs look a little gangly his hocks aren't all the way up underneath him yet his tongue's hanging out but unlike the last foal flow ever in a day this baby was born in about 340 days um, also, which is right on the money, like right on the money of what you want. This mare obviously had no complications. She was able to pass her placenta easily and this baby has been drinking milk. So all of those things, that's the, um, like the human equivalent of counting all the fingers and toes and seeing if the baby can latch. So, um, <laughs> horses latch a lot easier than humans do, but sometimes every once in a while they need a little bit of help. Our baby three years ago with Nephi had to have help latching, but this baby is latched and standing and doing just beautifully. So over the course of the next few days, we'll see him playing around a lot more and being a lot more active. Now this baby hasn't been super cuddly yet. Um, so we'll see if this is boy year, um, which I prefer fillies, but I'm super down with having a whole bunch of chromey jail dash to heavens. They're so desirable and I'm not mad at it, um, but this guy seems very sassy. So he seems like he's got a lot of spunk, a lot of spice where Flo Ever, of course we joke that Flo Ever came out at three months old. So because he was so late pushing 400 days. Um, but this colt, I feel like is gonna be a little more spicy. I think we're gonna have a little more action of him running around, bucking around and playing. Um, I just think this is a really, really special horse. Now this is one that I have, I have a whole spreadsheet of the ones that I'm gonna sell to make back to pay for the hay and the breeding costs and all of those things. So I don't keep them all. We're expecting 13 of them. And this is one of the ones that I have marked to sell. And it's gonna be so hard because we have to wait all the way until they're weaned. And this is the flashiest baby we've ever had land on the ground. So I'm just gonna have to like, go with it and get this baby sold to an amazing home. We don't let anything leave until after they've naturally weaned. That's typically August, September, um, but we don't want to stress out mare or baby in that season when it's like 115 degree, degrees here. We want to let them naturally wean, which in the herd is amazing. And a lot of you may ask, well, how do you halter break them or how do you teach them manners or how do you handle them if you do everything within the herd? But the herd does that. It's just like it takes a village to raise your baby. It's the exact same here. And I couldn't imagine taking a horse baby away and trying to teach it things that the horse mama will naturally teach it. So again, mad respect to everyone's program and absolutely everyone does it differently. There's not one program that's the same as another. And I respect, totally respect, if you wanted to imprint your foals or halter break them right away or all of the stuff and things. Um, but hopefully I'll get that same respect in return of 
this is how we do it and we feel like we've had a really great track record of 99 percent of our horses have gone on to be 1d winners pro rodeo money earners one exception of that is um she's a brood mare that i'm pretty sure is about to produce a 1d winner pro rodeo money earner so we have a really great track record of what has worked for us i do want to po point out now that i'm a little closer to him i can see a little tiny white squiggly on his left front knee this dude is so chromey now smoke show you guys know smoke show had a lot of chrome on her she was super super pretty and flashy i did sell her to a new home oh he's sleeping he laid down he said all this talking's got me tired guys it's all got me tired my favorite thing is that they wag their tail and their little tug is out oh my goodness oh yeah, I just balled up in a little ball inside of my mama. I'm going to go back to being a little ball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that sweet baby. Oh, that's a sweet baby. Well, Smoke Show, I sold her. Actually, Cody, play the baby music. get a name for this baby but you guys please drop suggestions below because so far I think we've used like two of your names as a suggestion I'm so excited um, I, I sold I sold smoke show to a girl in Waco who's doing really well on her and she's actually flushing an embryo also um, but smoke show gave us a lot of chrome and she was such 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 a nice mare she's just beginning her career and we knew she would be a big deal so we wanted to go ahead and get her flushed and I'm so glad that we did but this baby will be one that I've earmarked for sale um, I'm starting to sell less of the baby flow knickknack and nephews because they're 18 19 and 20 this year so they're getting more and more and more rare um, so it will be really hard for me to sell those but of the daughters the next generation um, I will begin to sell those um, to make sure to pay for the other ones and typically the ones I keep are not this flashy I, it's just how it works out like the cobbler's kids have no shoes I keep very nice incredible colts back for myself but I tend to sell the ones that are more public friendly and generally the public likes them to be very flashy um, or they prefer boys all of those things so mine tend to be just a little bit um, less flashy but else who is the baby flow jail dash to heaven she has got really cute markings too so and we don't have like there's not like a, a dink around um, all of them are really really amazing but the whole jail dash to heaven herd all of them are gonna be sorrel I do have tea wagon babies coming so we have like three or four of those this year and we have one adios pantalones and a trace say so we have like a chance for some color but out of 13 colts you better believe that more than half of them are going to be sorrel so all of this chrome is such a surprise you guys thank you so much for enjoying the behind the scenes this is not a first for us to share on youtube but we definitely haven't gone this in depth um, doing it over on tiktok and instagram and everywhere so that you guys can see the behind the scenes i thought that you guys might be a little bored with the embryo flushing process and the stallion process but it turns out you guys like to nerd out on the breeding stuff as much as we do and i'm so grateful to share it with you so as always please if you would like to support us please subscribe to the channel press the like button and comment below i need all the name suggestions i can get also all of our name suggestions always include we, we always use the word flow in there um, for the ranch raised babies. So please make sure your name includes a flow. If I pick your name, I'll be sure to send you something in the mail. So I hope you guys come up with some really good names. As always, you guys, don't forget to count your blessings, stay consistent, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. I came from a non-horse background and wanted to be a professional barrel racer. Now I'm excited to say I am a world champion, but it was a long road to get here and I learned a ton of lessons. I got swindled, taken, had mentors lead me wrong, and now I want to make something so that you don't have to. 30 plus years of experience have been put in my horse boss's dashboard for hours and hours of lessons in specific categories like hitting barrels, alley issues, when to enter, training your horse, and many, many more. Please join us today. You will not regret it.